SpaceX wastes no time on their march towards Starship Test Flight 3. Delays keep the company from reaching the year's Falcon target. Dragon pop shoots bra. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. It's been quite the busy week at the Gateway. On Saturday, Ship 28 skipped any cryo testing and went straight to Spin Prime. But that wasn't all. Her Pez door hasn't been welded shut like previous models, and so it too was tested a few hours later. SpaceX both opening and closing the hatch. Eventually, Starship will spit out next-gen Starlink satellites, like a Pez dispenser. Then on Tuesday, her lower half was relocated from Starbase to the Gateway down Highway 4. The company sharing a few drone shots of the move on X.com. And Lab Padre Space's live cams captured the lift onto the launch mount. It was only a couple days later that she began her first cryo test. A static fire was expected, but if that were truly the case, it was scrubbed. However, back to ship 28, the following day it was time for her next test on her march to the third test flight, completing a full duration static fire with all six of its Raptor engines. Starship Gazer noticed afterward that a few thermal tiles did abandon ship during the test. Rapidly reusable reliable rockets unlock making life multiplanetary. Speaking of which, my Starship documentary will release in full on X this Christmas if you haven't seen it yet. Link in the description below. On Monday evening, Falcon 9 lifted off from Pad 40 at the Florida Cape, carrying another 23 Starlink birds to add to the orbital flock. The booster, flying for its third mission, successfully touched down on the autonomous drone ship a shortfall of gravitas. This ended an 11-day gap between flights, the longest for SpaceX this year due to poor weather and issues with ground equipment, which sealed the deal that the company will fall just short of its goal to launch 100 rockets in 2023. This was the 92nd if you do not include the two Starship test flights. The repeatedly delayed Falcon Heavy mission for the U.S. Space Force is currently targeting next Thursday for liftoff. Both weather and hardware pushed her date back. And weather had prevented the Cargo Dragon capsule for Space Station Resupply Mission 29 from returning too. But on Thursday afternoon, she undocked and began her 19 and a half hour fall back to Earth, where just moments ago, she popped shoots bra and splashed down off the coast of Florida. This Thursday was the eight year anniversary of the world's first landing of an orbital class booster. And since that time, SpaceX has landed Falcon rockets more than 250 times and counting. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket is back after a law lasting more than a year due to an in-flight engine failure during their previous unmanned rocket launch. We have position of our BP-3 engine and liftoff. Mission Control confirms that new Shepard has cleared the tower and is headed to space. Which the host never bothered to address during the live stream. So this 24th mission was uncrewed, of course, instead opting to hoist 33 research payloads to suborbital space, many provided by NASA. The capsule and booster reached an apogee of 106 clicks AGL before the former pop shoots and padded its landing with a burst of retro rockets. And the latter just went straight retro rocket all the way, landing in the West Texas desert. Landing gear deploying. Oh, love that shot. I can't tell you how many people have told us they thought that this looks like uh, CGI, but indeed one of these most beautiful sh shots in the West Texas desert. We have booster touchdown. And that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. Even greater thanks to those supporting the show with their inflated Biden bucks. But a Merry Christmas to all and a nominal New Year. Until next time, Godspeed. Godspeed.